Hello, my name is Trish and I work for Crafters Companion and I'm going to show you the first steps in patchwork, what you need and how to get you started. So the first three things that you do need are a self-healing mat here, um, a rotary cutter and a patchwork ruler. So beginning with the self-healing mat, you may already have one of those if you're a paper crafter or if you're a sewer, um, again you may have one. These mats allow the rotary cutter to go into it but it heals itself once the blade is away from the mat. So going on to your rotary cutters, there are two, three, four sizes of rotary cutter. Um, these are the 60 mil, the 45, the standard one, uh, the 28 mil and the new little 18 mil. Now the bigger the blade the less rotations it needs to go when you cut through your fabric. So all of these rotary cutters will um, allow you to cut through probably six to eight layers of fabric at a time. So always for saving time, cut, layer your fabric up, double it, treble it, quadruple it, um, and cut through all the layers at once. So the big one for anybody with dexterity problems, um, the big one here will is actually easier to get through all those layers. If you are just beginning, standard uh, rotary cutter, the 45 millimeter one, is your bolt standard if you like. These ones have a safety blade, so at the moment the blade is covered. If I release the lever there, the blade is open. I would say every time you need to cover your blade, I never like to have my rotary cutter sitting there with the blade open. It is open to cutting your hands and will cause you quite serious damage to your fingers. Um, so on from those, we will then go on to the rulers. Now, patchwork rulers come in lots of different sizes. This one is a 12 and a half inch, 13 inch by six, six and a half. You can get longer ones, which are 24 inches long, but as a beginner or just stepping into the world of patchwork, I would go for uh, the smaller one, it's less cumbersome when you're popping it onto your fabric. So this one, as I say, is quite standard at being six and a half inches wide. There are all sorts of brands. This one is four and a half inches wide, another brand. This one is only two and a half inches wide, but very good for if you're using jelly rolls, which I'll come on to in another video. There are square ones, like this one. This one's a six and a half, a nice standard shape you can get up to 15 and a half inch video, uh, 15 and a half inch um, square rulers, also helpful with squaring up your fabric. So what we'll go on to now is just to show you how to use a ruler and a rotary cutter to square up your fabric. So I like to use um, a smaller, a smaller ruler um, because of the ease of using. Make sure your fabric is nicely ironed. And I've got two pieces here, which um, are a little misshapen. So the first thing we need to do is to uh, straighten it, it up. So I'll take both pieces at the same time and lay them on top of each other. Um, there's only two layers there, so I'm gonna fold it in half. So I've got four layers. Now I'm going to look at, if you have a selvage on your fabric, usually along here, I'm going to make sure they're lined up because that is straight and then I'm going to use the lines on my ruler for cutting my straight edges. I don't really mind where these uh, grids are on here. To my mind it is just another step to make trying to line up the edge of your fabric with one of these lines. I know the patchwork ruler is totally accurate, all these lines are precision, so if I use the lines I cut with the lines on here, every time I know my work is going to be accurate, my angles are going to be at right angles when I cut, or my lines are going to be straight. So I'm going to pop the ruler onto the fabric. Now this was the folded edge, so if I line one of the horizontal lines here along that folded edge, I know this is straight. So I have lined my horizontal with the edge, the folded edge of the fabric, and I know this is going to be straight. I'm placing my hands just a little bit away from the edge of the ruler. It won't slip, slip because of this nice deep edge. And I'm always going to, I'm going to reveal the blade 
and I'm going to start on the mat rather than on the fabric and then I'm just going to hold it very comfortably I'll cover the blade while I'm doing that I'm going to hold it comfortably I don't need to hold my um, wrist upright like this that makes it awkward but just comfortably comfortably and pop it onto the mat against the ruler and just roll through with a little bit of pressure and before I cover the blade I like to pull the fabric away as soon as my blade has left the mat I cover my blade to put it down because believe you me every time you are looking at your ruler to line things up you can put your hand to the side and you may cut your fingers so cover the blade every time so now I know that is perfectly straight so at this point I'm going to just turn and it's the only time I have to do this I'm going to turn the fabric around so here is my straight edge so now I'm going to line my ruler one of the vertical lines with that cut line that I've just made and I'm going to cut two and a half inches um, a strip so I know there's my two and a half inch line I'm going to lay that exactly on the edge that I have just cut and again my hands onto the ruler and rotary blade open starting on the mat a little push gentle push down push that to the side and cover my blade now I have a strip that is two and a half inches wide in fact in two layers so I want to have a two and a half inch square so having opened that out I now want to neaten I want to take away that selvage edge so again I can line up my horizontal line with the piece I've just cut and I know that is going to be perfectly straight let's hover that there again uncover the blade cut down push the fabric away and again, just turn that around and now I can cut as many strips or as many squares as I like. So at two and a half inches, again, I'm lining the horizontal with that edge of the fabric and the edge I just cut, I'm lining up with the two and a half and I'm going to then cut, reveal the blade, cut again, cover the blade, move that away and line up again with the two and a half inch line both horizontally and vertically and cut again push that to the side and one last one at two and a half inches two and a half horizontals and cut again and there we are so in very easy movements I have one two three four five six now I could have cut that in more layers I could have had eight layers of fabric um, actually cutting all those but we'll leave that there and if you watch one of the next uh, videos we'll learn how to put those squares together.